Hello everybody, Grizzly Red here, and today I'm doing yet another unboxing. How exciting. And today we're going to be unboxing something I've waited a whole month for <laughs> to actually arrive. So I'm getting this video out later than I expected, but it is finally here, and that is Blade Runner, the final cut from the Film Vault Collection. I am very, very excited to finally have this and to finally open it and to finally showcase it to you guys because I've waited a while for this. This is something that was uh, available for sale for, I want to say, about a month or so ago. Uh, yeah, a little over a month or so ago. Um, and I ordered it from Zavi.com and it imported from the UK and I've waited about a month for it. Um, there's been a lot of things I will talk about later involving that, but it's finally arrived. So what is the Film Vault, you may be asking? Well, the Film Vault is a new line of collector's editions of 4K movies. Um, right now, there's only four in the collection, starting with Blade Runner The Final Cut, and it also includes Goodfellas, Scarface, and 1917. So as you can see here on the spine, it says the Film Vault is numbered one. And then it has the title of the movie, and as you can see, this is a UK import. These are not available um, for sale in the US directly, um, but I was able to purchase this on Zavi.com and have it imported to the US. Um, so yeah, I was very excited to purchase this because, if you guys don't know, I'm a huge fan of Blade Runner. And I already own the movie on 4K, I've had it for a while, in fact it was the very first 4K disc I bought alongside 2049. But this collector's edition just looked absolutely gorgeous. Um, as you can see by this artwork here, it is absolutely stunning. It is just gorgeous, honestly. Like, I love it. Just the image of Roy Batty here and all this. I would love a full poster of this. I hope they eventually make something like that. Um, so, yeah, I like I just I saw this artwork and saw this packaging and just was like, I have to get this. Because even though I already own the movie on 4K and I am technically double dipping, um, I'm such a fan of this movie and I've been getting into collecting so heavily that I really wanted to have this. So once I get some proper shelves, I can put this on display and it will actually look super, super nice. So there's the front. Again, there's the spine. And then here's the back, which shows everything it includes. It is a limited edition of 3000. So we'll get to see which number I have. And then it also features, of course, new key art by Matt Ferguson and Flore from Vice Press. So that is what this artwork here is. Matt Ferguson does amazing, amazing work. And then it, it comes with exclusive individually numbered crystal display plaque, rigid clamshell box with magnetic enclosure, eight collectible art cards with film facts, a reproduction spinner vehicle design blueprint, and of course the movie itself on 4K Ultra HD and Blu-ray. So really, really cool stuff. So I'm not gonna talk anymore. I'm gonna get to the unboxing and we will discuss more about it a little bit later. Let's open this thing. That was probably the easiest unwrapping <laughs> I've ever had to do for something that came in uh, that plastic wrap. All right. So, let's take a look at this. This is the first time I'm seeing this in person, because obviously I'm unboxing on the camera for you, so uh, <laughs> I'm kind of fanboying here. Um, so, looking at the front, again, you got this amazing artwork here. Uh, I don't see any damage. These are known, so I've heard for a lot of people who've bought these, they do get damaged pretty easily in shipping, um, especially for importing them, so I was worried about that. Although, to be honest, I don't see any damage on this, except for right here. I think you guys can see that there's a little bit of a crack there, but that is honestly really minor, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, I'm actually shocked this came in the condition that it was because when this arrived at my doorstep, I was really worried because the bottom of the box that it came in was just gone, honestly. It was just completely open. I'll put a picture on the screen right now to show you guys. And uh, it almost fell on the floor <laughs> when I grabbed the box because it was open on that side. So I expected this to be completely just des destroyed, but luckily it's not. So, but anyway. So yeah, that's the front cover. This is actually a slip cover. So we're gonna actually take it off right now. As you can see, all the text and stuff is on that slip case. And now all we're left with is the gorgeous, gorgeous artwork from Matt Ferguson. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. I would love to put this on like a, like a stand on a shelf someday. 
Uh, the art does wrap around a little bit on the spine here, which is quite cool. And on the back, we have Harrison Ford, Deckard himself, on the back there. And then uh, there's the other side of the spine, which is the same artwork that's on the other side. Actually, no, actually, no, it's different artwork. Never mind. <laughs> so, yeah, that is the front. Really gorgeous artwork. Just amazing. I really want a poster of that. <laughs> um, now, the main reason I bought this, even I already own the movie, the main reason I bought this is the packaging, because this is very nice packaging. It actually is magnetic, so if we open this up here, the magnet comes off, and then it opens up like this. And on the inside, on the left, it has a quote from the movie, which is, of course, the classic Roy Batty, uh, Roy Batty monologue there. And then on the right, we have that image of the unicorn origami. Really nice image there. And then if we take... Let's see if I can do this with one hand. <laughs> it's kind of difficult to do this here. I might have to actually... Uh, Oh man, here, let's see, I'm gonna have to, there we go, that's, that's good, yeah, there we go. So this is, uh, like an envelope, right here, on the back, got that classic line from Tyrell, more human than human, got the Tyrell logo up there, which is actually quite cool, I like that. Um, we'll open this up real quick, I'll show you the contents, let's put this aside for now. So first things first, we have the uh, spinner blueprint, which is quite cool. So if we open that up, it basically is just a little, like a blueprint picture of the classic spinner from Blade Runner. This is actually quite cool. I might actually end up hanging this up in a frame someday. I actually quite like that. It's one of those things that if you don't know what you're looking at, you may not even know what it's from. <laughs> Although it does see Blade Runner down there. So that's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, really, really neat that that's in there. So set that aside. And then the rest of the contents in that envelope are art cards. But these are actually quite, quite nice. Uh, wow, they really are. These are really premium. <laughs> um, so unlike some uh, collector's editions that include art cards, usually the art cards are literally just screen grabs or stills from the movie itself. Um, but this is a little bit better because it actually includes concept art and various other things. Uh, which is quite nice and they are filmed on a or not filmed they are printed on a very nice glossy photo paper so it's not cheap uh paper or anything like that so that's kind of nice so starting with this one it says harrison ford is the blade runner coming this summer this is basically like a little promotional poster kind of thing um what's cool is that even on the back they have information so here you can see the original classic poster which uh i do actually have this poster hung up uh, in my apartment right now i'll show you a picture of it up on the wall uh, but yeah, on the back here, it shows, of course, the four main actors, Harrison Ford, Rooker Howard, Sean Young, Edward James Olmos. And then you get some information on, of course, you know, uh, who you know who directed it, who the screenplay was by, who it was based on, you know, Phil K. Dick. Um, a little quote from Ridley Scott here, and then uh, three BAFTA awards that it uh, also won. Best Cinematography, Best Costume Design, Best Production Design. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I like I like that they put this little uh, these little tidbits on the back. I think that's pretty nice. So then we'll go to the next one. This is concept art of the of the spinner from the amazing Sid Mead, the absolute legendary visualist Sid Mead. And then on the back there, get that quote from Gaff, it's too bad she won't live, but then again, who does? And you get a picture of the actual model, uh, the full-scale model of the spinner there, and then of course Harrison Ford and Edward James almost sitting in the, the spinner there, so that's quite nice. Then you have this image here of a little little truck, little vehicle. Again, Sid Mead. And on the back, you have the actual picture of it right here. I, uh, I think I said truck. What I meant to say was taxi. I believe this is a taxi. <laughs> Metro cab, it says. Um, and it shows you here, Sid Mead drew upon real-world inspiration for his futuristic taxi design, the Metro Cab. In an effort to minimize costs, vehicle fabricator Gene Winfield hired a local cabinet maker to construct the Metro Cab out of a decidedly low-tech substance, wood. <laughs> so that's cool. I like I like that it's not just the artwork. You also get a little bit of information. And it's cool because you see the artwork and then see the finished product like as it appeared in the film. So I think that's actually cool. These are probably some of the best art cards I've seen. I actually quite like these. And these are things that I might frame someday. I might put these in little tiny frames and put them in like a little collage on the wall. I think that'd be freaking freaking awesome. Um, so again, more Sid Mead art here of the, the city. 
city streets. Although originally hired to design vehicles and props for Blade Runner, visual futurist Sid Mead often included immersive backgrounds in his artwork for context. His work so impressed director Ridley Scott that Mead soon found himself also designing detailed environments to the film and even a few matte paintings. Ah, good old Sid Mead. There's a book you can buy that has all of Sid Mead's drawings, and I really want to get that someday because he's done so many cool things. Um, and then we have this awesome concept art of Deckard's uh, bathroom in his apartment here. And of course you have these pictures here from the movie. Um, I'm not going to read everything that's on the back, but you guys can freeze frame that if you want and read read that. I'm going to try to get through the rest of these fairly quickly. Concept art of the Voigt Kampf machine, the classic machine. And some more images there on the back of how it appeared in the film. And then you get these art cards here of uh, storyboards. This is when uh, Pris is fighting Deckard, I believe. Yep. We have this gorgeous piece of art right here, which is the police headquarters. And that is it. Those are all the art cards. Um, art cards are usually not something I care much about, but I got to admit, these are the nicest I've seen yet. Um, again, they're printed on very high quality glossy photo paper and they have cool information on the back and you know pictures from the set, stuff like that. So I quite like these. These are these are things I could see myself actually putting up on the wall. I could actually see myself doing that. So pretty cool stuff and nothing major, but cool to see. So I'll put those back in their respective envelope along with the spinner blueprints. So I'm trying to keep these together if I can, uh, if I can. There we go. Seal that. Seal that back up. All right. So that's everything that comes in that little envelope there. Set that aside. And now we get to the main attraction, which is what's on the inside here. So at the very top here, we have this little guy. Wow, that is heavy. <laughs> so this I'm going to hold this up to the camera. This is a piece of uh, crystal or glass, if you will, um, that is laser etched with the name of the movie, of course, a little image of uh, Harrison Ford as Blade Runner there. And then it's also numbered. So I have edition 1746 of 3000, whichever version you have or you will get will also be etched with a number. Um, and this is like real glass. This is quite heavy. Um, I don't know what I'd ever do with this, to be honest with you. I can see myself maybe putting it on a shelf, but I don't know really what I would do with it. Um, but it's kind of neat, you know, it's honestly nothing too crazy I could have done without it. Um, and one thing I will I will mention, and this is something a lot of people who bought this will also tell you, is that these are really heavy and they will likely damage the box that it comes in. And I can already tell you mine is damaged. It's not a huge deal, but it is something I want to point out. So because this is sitting in here, it's sliding around in shipping left and right. So what happens is which actually, maybe that's supposed to be like that. I'm not sure, but I, I heard some people say theirs was damaged. There's a little like slot here and it's like open. So it's actually sliding all the way into the box. I don't know if that's supposed to happen or not, but it actually really doesn't look that bad. Although there is a little bit of a, some damage there, I suppose that's unfortunate, but not a huge deal. Um, the other side is fine, but um, so yeah, just keep that in mind. Yours may come damaged or somewhat damaged. Um, but yeah, this is kind of a, Cool little thing, but nothing major. Just kind of cool to show the number of which uh, which edition you got. So, so yeah, that's that. I'm gonna put that back in the box for now. It does come with this cool little ribbon, so you can like pull it out really easily. So that's kind of nice. And then we have this guy right here. I'm gonna pull this out. Again, nice little ribbon here to pull it out. I always appreciate that. Something uh, that the Evil Dead Ruby Collection also did. That I liked. So this is. A uh, little digi pack. So on the front, got the name of the movie, police headquarters on the front, nice little artwork. On the back, again, the same thing. Got the little spinner coming in. And then if we push up on this, we have Deckard with his pistol out when he's about to attack uh, Zora. On the back, we have an image of Rutger Hauer as Roy Batty right there. And then this is what I've been really excited to see. Oh yeah, look at that. Open that up and you have the iconic image of the eye at the beginning of the movie looking at the uh, plumes of fire and smoke. And if we open this up, you have the 4K disc here. 
and then open this up you have the standard blu-ray right there with an image of the uh of tyrell basically little pyramids tyrell corporation in the background and then over here over here you have the opening title crawl the classic opening title crawl right here just kind of neat um now one thing to keep in mind because you guys don't know the 4k disc that comes with the set even though it is from the uk it is region free all 4k discs are region free so even though i bought this in the uk i could put this in my us blu-ray player and it would work um, now that being said the blu-ray that comes with this the standard blu-ray will not be region free because most blu-rays that i know of are region locked to whatever region they're from so unless you have a way to get past that uh, it's not going to play um which for me doesn't matter because I already own the 4K version of Blade Runner, the final cut um, from the original release and now this release, I can always play those and I probably will never use the Blu-ray, but it is here, so that is cool to note. So I'll try to show you the whole thing there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I really love this image of the eye here. Um, and then of course again, Deckard there. And there's a little, little slip cover there. So I'm gonna put that uh, back in its sleeve if I can. Come on now. Alrighty, that was a pain to put back. <laughs> Alright, so we'll put this back in the, the box here. Like that. And then we'll put this back in the box. Like this. And we'll close it back up with that magnetic seal there. And we'll put the slip cover back over so there you have it that is the film vault release of blade runner the final cut vault 001 the first one in the vault um yeah pretty pretty cool set um overall i am very pleased with this as a huge blade runner fan that being said i will admit that for most people it's probably not worth the money <laughs> um you know, the money you spend on this, which honestly was really not that much compared to what you might expect it to be, considering it's limited to 3000 But for about 60 or so dollars that I spent on this, um, that is a little steep, considering all you get really is just some packaging, some art cards, and a little piece of, you know, glass. It's, um, I would have preferred if there was something else in here, like a statue of the spinner or a poster even, which I think if you bought this directly from the Vice Press website, it did come with the poster, but that's besides the point. Um... But I would have liked to have seen some other things that are a little bit more significant than just a glass block and whatever. But I really bought this just because I am a huge fan of Blade Runner. It's one of my favorite films. Um, this artwork is gorgeous. I wanted to support the artist. Um, and also, I'm a big collector of physical media and 4K Blu-ray and regular Blu-ray. And this felt like something that would be a great piece to my collection that I could put on display on a shelf or something like that in the future. And... Uh, yeah, I kind of just got weak and uh, pulled the trigger on it. <laughs> so some people may say it's not worth it, and I honestly would not blame you for having that assessment. This is definitely not for everybody. This is really just for the ultimate collector uh, who really loves this movie or any of the other movies that are in the vault currently. Um, but it is really, really cool, and I really, really like it. I'm pretty happy with it overall. Um, I hope they continue to do more vault releases, maybe even better ones. I love to see, you know, like The Matrix or Blade Runner 2049 or something like that come into the collection. That would be freaking awesome. And I'd probably get weakened by that as well. <laughs> um, it's just cool to keep seeing, you know, physical media being kept alive in these kind of forms and these nice little boxes, stuff like that. So, yeah, overall, very happy with it. The only thing I'm not happy with is how long it took to get here. I ordered it over a month ago, and it took a long time to get here. Which, granted, it did come from the UK, but it took only about two days to get from the UK to the US. And then it kind of just sat around the US for a while. And ultimately, what I had to do was actually get a replacement sent to me. So what you're seeing here is actually the replacement, the second shipment they sent me. Um, so my original one that I ordered has still yet to show up, and it may not show up. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, yeah, that was not very fun to have to wait all that time and get like no tracking info and go through all that and having to go through customer service, stuff like that. Um, I will say Zavi's customer support was very quick to respond and very nice and kind and did, in fact, ship out a second copy for me um, since the other one was considered lost. Um, and I'm really surprised that happened considering that this is a limited edition that only is numbered to 3000 and it was sold out. So I'm surprised they found another one to ship me. But hey, I'm not complaining. <laughs> so other than that and other than the fact they shipped it in a really bad box, which I already showed you earlier. Um, I'm very pleased and very happy with this as a Blade Runner fan and as a fan of 4K and physical media. So, hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I thought it would be a fun little thing just to show you guys uh, on camera. 
So I hope you enjoyed. I'll be back with some more unboxings in the future if something else cool comes my way. But until then, have a good day, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.